Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing my e.l.f. blush palettes and I actually do have both of them. I actually have the light and the dark palette so there's only two that are out. I'm pretty sure they are online but I did find mine at Walmart and I do know they have them at Target as well. So let's just get started. So these palettes actually are about $6 so I think that's really really inexpensive for the blushes that come inside of this palette. Okay, so let's just go ahead and start with the light palette. This is just how it looks like. It's just matte black, just like um, elf regular packaging that they have. So we open it up, and it comes with a really big mirror, and it comes with four, and this is actually the light, and that's just how it looks. I was really, really amazed that for only $6, you actually get four of the blushes, considering their blushes itself are like $3, but this is half of the price. So... I would rather recommend you guys to buy the blush palettes instead of the single blushes since it is cheaper to just buy the palette itself. That's just how the light one looks like and this is how the dark one looks like. So obviously the dark one, I feel like it'd be for more darker skin colors of course, but I feel like these are a little bit more for the fall and I feel like the light palette is a little bit better for the spring so this is just how they both look like so this one's dark and this one's light as you can see these are very beautiful colors and i really really i'm so happy i got both of them since it is pretty different range of colors the consistency of these they honestly could be a little bit chalky but not to the point that you just tap the brush and all the powder just goes everywhere that's not the point of chalkiness it's at i really really do think that for the price that these come at it's a steal so one really cool thing i forgot to mention was that these these blushes actually pop out which is super cool so if you have let's just say you have both of the palettes and you like a couple of colors from this side and a couple of colors from this side you could always pop the ones they like out and just switch it up you don't have to work with all of these at the same time or if you're traveling you could just take two and two and i really think that's convenient especially for people who travel a lot and are on the go all the time and yeah let's just go ahead and go in with the swatches so let's swatch the light palette first here's some finger swatches from the light palette i'm just gonna swatch it on my hand they're actually very very pigmented okay so this is just how it looks like as you can see, the ones that are darker come off a little bit better. I think this orangey one, it's a little bit patchy. But overall, I really do like the light shades. So let's go ahead and swatch the dark palette. And this is how the dark palette swatches look like. As you can see, they're very, really pretty colors. I really do think that light skin gals could probably benefit from this one as well. Just not have it so powerful in your cheeks. The best way to apply the darker ones is with a stippling brush. Just so that it gives you a flush of color and doesn't give you like that extreme blush color. <laughs> this is the light and the dark palette side by side. I really do like how they can be popped um, in and out of the palettes. Like I said, awesome and affordable. And yeah, I hope you guys try them out. I hope you guys like this review. And don't forget to like this video if you like reviews. And if you want to see more reviews from me, um, just comment down below as well. If you want to see reviews of certain products that I have or just want me to review and just want to know about those products and yeah don't forget to subscribe as well if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys